Welcome my guys to our video. We are in Auckland at another bus station like we saw in the last video. UK style where they drive in and pull up at platforms. This is Manakau bus station. So we just arrived in Auckland last night. There wasn't enough time to go out unfortunately. But it's now morning of the next day and I'm here at our local train and bus station to the hotel which is pretty close by at Manako or Manukau, I don't know how to pronounce it <clears throat> this is the terminus of the East Rail Line or East Train Line, whatever you want to say otherwise it sounds like the Hong Kong Line um, it's a spur line one, just one stop off the Southern Line just like the Thorny Line although it has a different route to the city which only recently reopened literally like a week ago because it was closed for major works for a long, for quite a while, and I'm pretty sure it's reopened now. So here we are. This is the bus station. I just got my Atop card, even though it's literally only going to be for two days. But um, it's only five dollars, and it's twenty percent off fare, so it's worth it. But we're going to go on the train, not the bus, from the terminus station, which is very fitting, so I can immediately do this line from the terminus to the city. Now there are only four train lines in Auckland, the north, south and east lines as well as another line which is not then by the compass direction which is just another spare line, basically two main lines and then the spare lines but this one has a bit of an extra route into the city. So we're gonna go into a train station, I'm pretty sure I bought an adult card which is unfortunate but that's, but that's actually correct because from 16 plus here it's adult, in Wellington it's 18 unless you have proof of secondary school enrollment in New Zealand which I don't. Now this train station is actually crazy. All of the ones I've seen so far are so grand and majestic. Look at this. There's so much other stuff in here. The trains are downstairs. And there's one departing in 13 minutes. Three car and the next one six car. Oh well, doesn't matter. So we're just gonna go down. And here we are at Manukau station, the terminus. Just normal two platforms, it's just a little spare line. But it's a cool place to start my train series. And it's only like a kilometer from the hotel we're staying at. There are the buffers. And then there's just fare gates right behind there and then the escalators up. So it's just the terminus trains are every 15 minutes right now. I'm gonna show you on the map where we are. This is my first experience of Auckland trains just randomly all of a sudden. I mean, it's pretty cool. So here's the map. Now it does actually include busways as well because the northern and western suburbs are not really served by trains so it shows busways. So we're on the yellow line here at Manokau. It spurs back here, connects to the southern line but then goes off and on a different route to the city terminus at Waitemata which is also known as Britomart in English. And then it's showing the airport link which also operates from here to the airport. The red line continues down under construction for an extension opening mid 2024. This is the little blue line which doesn't even go to the city, just starts at Newmarket and goes over to this station, stopping at two of those in the evening only since the southern line serves it at other times. And then there's also the, the what's this, western line, is it? No, northern line, I think. Um, it doesn't even say, which there's a station here under construction because they are building an underground link from the main center station under the CBD to that station. But at the moment that doesn't exist so the train goes down, actually turns around the new market on the green line, does a U-turn and continues to terminate all the way down the end. So as you can see the main lines are the green one and the red one and then the yellow one is a really short, well not that short but still pretty short to this spur which I'll film right now and then this one which doesn't even go to the city. I'll do that as well. And then there's two busways which are so cool as well. The northern busway, literally like stations all the way, Albany over here, and the western express busway. So we'll be trying to film those as well. I'm going to try to film all the trains today. It's not actually that much, so I can get it done. And then here is the rail network rebuild stage three because they are rebuilding many of the stations to improve the gaps. Southern line starting from only a few days time. Western line starting in March, 
but the eastern line which is the one we're about to take they just did so that's why okay so let's take a look at the timetable uh, it is a weekday luckily oh it's 20 minute frequency so 11.15 is the service we'll be taking it gets into the city 11.52 so it's 37 minute journey oh, okay that's actually pretty long then it's way longer than the thorny line and we go on the cool path past the um, water in the east Anyway, here's the train. It's just arriving. It's an EMU electric trains, although here they only got electric trains recently in the last decade or so. Wellington had them way earlier. Coming in to terminate. This is the destination and the line on it. Manukau Eastern Line. Cold. Just a little three car set. I think they only have one type of train here as well, which is this type. But they can obviously couple it into a six car, which that's how long the platform is. There we go. So loud. Oh, it does say the English name on the front, Britain Mart, even though it was like officially renamed. All right, let's hop on board the train. Stairs at the entrance. Not low floor in this section, just like the Wellington trains. Here's the onboard map, but it's the same as the one we were just looking at outside. Even got the extensions in it. It's so weird with buses and the train map, but I guess that's how you show it since those areas are not served by the train and that basically acts like one. Cool. Can we go? We are departing now. They did actually say Britomart in the announcements. I thought they renamed it because on the Wikipedia page it said it was officially renamed, and even on the map it says Wyatemat Mata, and then in brackets Britomart. Because like all the other stations with New Zealand names only have the New Zealand name, but okay, that's cool. Both names are cool, I guess. Maybe they just didn't change the announcements, but we're departing. Next station is Pohinui. Transfer here for the airport link bus and the Tahuya train to Hamilton. If there is an emergency, please use the emergency stop button located near the passenger doors. Your AT hop card or ticket may be checked at any time. Kupuhinui te tula tereina e heke mai ana. Mena e take moriaria, ako hia te pātene whakatū tereina kei pātata ki ngā kuaha kaieke. Ka hira tia tau kāri ai te, tiki te rānei i ngā āpiha a kōna wā. smooth departure out um, the announcements are actually fully in both languages it's not like that on the Wellington trains and it actually announces you to change to the regional train as well which is like twice a day but it still says that but okay sure all the way down to Hamilton so this section is pretty boring just along the highway and the, this vegetation but we're gonna connect onto the southern line for now although we're coming to a stop probably because there's a southern train in front of us oh yeah I actually just saw that southern train pass by if that's timetable that's really bad actually if it has to wait here every time it leaves but hopefully that was just a late train it's not timetabled like that 
Um, okay, we're going now. Um, is it a tunnel or just a curve? I don't know. I have no idea. I've barely studied this rail network. I did way more on Wellington, but it's still cool to take it. No, it's just a curve. It's actually an at grade junction. Okay, there's actually a depot right there. It's a train depot. Lots of trains in there. Yeah, it's literally just this type. Oh, Emirates A380 literally landing right now. Look, there it is. Auckland Airport is just over there. All the way from Dubai, that's a really long route. Okay, here we go. Connected onto the southern line. Need a crossover to the left hand side. Actually, there's three tracks here. The middle one might actually be for this line. We are now arriving at Pohinui. Transfer here for the airport link bus and the Tahuya train to Hamilton. That thing is Change so slow. For southern line services. That thing is actually so slow. The scrolling display. Nope, that track doesn't even have a platform, so it's just out of use. Puhunui. <laughs> half of the stations are like English names, and then the other half are, are New Zealand Maori names. There's another Eastern Line train just going down the spur line. That's a six car over there. guards on the trains here as well and I saw the airport express bus out there and the shuttle bus okay departing and yeah, there's that airport bus Orange livery, the airport's very close to here. You transfer that station if you want to get there. The next station is Papa Toy Toy. This is an Eastern Line service to Britomart. Next station, Papa Toy Toy. Which is spelled Toto. Papa Toto. <laughs> so weird. Repetition in the name. Actually, the guard went to the back of the train now, so we can talk a little louder. <laughs> yes, I don't know what that track is right there. Completely out of use, I think. Doesn't look to be very used. Okay, yeah, so we are sharing stations here with the Southern Line for a few stops. Pukanui, Papatoto, Middlemore and Otum Otahuhu. And then we're branching off into the longer section to serve more stations. As the Eastern Line. We are now arriving at Papa Toy Toy. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform at the station. Oh, Kiwi Rail locomotive right there. That's just for the freight operations. It looks like the stations are actually on the right hand side, so they're all islands, so I might sit there instead. So we can see the stations. And now unfortunately the fare is actually increasing from 4th of February, but I'm not gonna be here that time, but yeah. Unfortunate, even more expensive. The train door beeping sounds like the B-series almost. <laughs> it's like nearly the same. And obviously it is much slower at each station because first the guard has to close all the other doors and then he closes his own door so it's just like twice the time to close the doors. 
in case of parting. These are just rather basic stations on the platform, but the concourse is actually so the good. The next station is Middlemore. Your AT hop card or ticket may be checked at any time. Just a random reminder about ticket checks. Yeah, so see, the next one has an English name, Middlemore. Sounds like a neutral section here. The train's really not getting much speed at the moment, is it? But later there are some bigger gaps between the stations. But these trains actually have carpets as well, which is strange, just like the, the transfer. But they're much cleaner by the looks of it. All these trains have proper transverse seats, unlike Transperth and most of the trains. Thank you, I love these seats. They can actually see out the window. Yeah, sorry for my commentary, it's not very um, comprehensive, but, but that's because I don't really know anything and I'm just discovering it along with you in the video. So, there's not really much I can say. I'll just link Wikipedia pages, I guess, to all these things. I don't really want to go editing in all the facts again, like I did for Adelaide. That took forever. Jeez, it's slow, isn't it? We haven't even gone above, like, 50 or 60. 50. But I think we're here now. Middlemore, there's a big hospital precinct here. Like, it is actually so good. Look, imagine having a train right next to a hospital in Perth like this, like Queen Elizabeth Medical Center. That would be so good. And we don't. But... Our side platforms here. Pretty good station again though. Lifts to get up to the footbridge. So all these stations have double frequency since both southern and eastern lines stop here. Sorry, I just missed it, but there's a southern train here. Just arrived in now. Actually, I just realized the southern line is actually closed between the second last station and the last station for like a long time. Big shutdown again, which is actually the longest section on the network. It's probably like 15 minutes longer than Transperth's longest section. It's actually so long because it goes to a town which is not even in Auckland. It's completely out and surrounded by bushland. Unfortunately, that section is closed as they're doing major upgrades there. So, we're not going to be filming that section, but at least I don't have to go that far. It just turned into the second last station, and there's a replacement bus. It's even shown on the map. The next station is Otahu. This is an eastern line service to Britomart. There's a bus. But yeah, so you can see train replacement 394 operates between those two stations since that town one is closed, which is quite unfortunate, so I don't get to experience that section, but it's a really long upgrade. I'm just glad this reopened. I'm pretty sure it reopened 15th of January from what I read, which is really not that long ago, nine days ago. Before that, this whole eastern like extra spur off was closed, and they just ran along the southern line to the city, probably express, so that was really pointless. It was literally just to serve the terminus station. Although it would have been faster. Okay, so we have one more station here, there are four shared stations. And then we are going off to serve the five unique stations of the Eastern Line near the city. And there's actually some really good views along there, we go right along the water. So it's going to be very nice. Now notice all these trains, the Wellington ones, 
the the Adelaide ones, even the EMU and the Auckland ones, they're all. We are now arriving at Otahu. Change here for Southern Line services. Change here for bus services. They're all way quieter than the B series and A series motors in Perth. But anyway, here we are. Again, it's announced change for Southern Line because it's such a weird line that goes on and off the Southern Line within the suburbs. That's like saying airport line would connect on a Bayswater, then leave it like East Perth again, go to like Causeway and Langley Park and then connect back on it like City West or something. So then it would say it twice. Um, but yeah, this is a big grand station as well. Look at that concourse. I actually saw this one yesterday when we were driving through the restaurant. We've got three platforms here, which that's probably just an express platform for any express patterns. And it also alerts you to change the buses here as well. So just like the Adelaide announcements, another train over there. I think that's the next, yep, that's already the next Eastern Line train. Another six car this time. Unfortunately, we got the three car. Now I don't think there are any underground sections on the network. The next station is Sylvia Park. Except the actual terminus of Britomart is actually underground in the CBD, which is so cool. An underground terminus literally in the CBD, that, that's really good. Like Perth Underground and Elizabeth Key obviously underground as well, but that's not a terminus, a full terminus where all the lines terminate, which like would buffer, so it's much cooler like this. Same design as Wellington and also and Adelaide, which the main station is a full terminus. Alright, so we need to branch back off now from the southern line. It's really confusing to call this the eastern line and then have the southern line like operating here as well. It's not really the eastern line, it just goes a little further east, but it doesn't really go in the east direction. Okay, so that's the southern line there, I think. So we're taking this extra left track, which has got quite a gap to those tracks now. Uh, I don't know, it's probably a tunnel. It's just a single line here. Looks like it. Nope, we're coming closer again. Oh, now there's a track there connecting to here anyway. I don't know why I have to branch off earlier then. Oh, nope, we're connecting back onto this track. What's that extra track for then? Like an express siding or something? Oh, no, 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 we're branching off now. There's the southern line. It branches off to the left there. So the southern line goes that way, and now we're going around this curve. This is the eastern line. Next station is just a small one, I think, Sylvia Park. It's still quite an ugly line so far, just here in the suburbs and industry, but it's gonna get much prettier closer to the city as we go over the water and around all the, all the estuaries. It's like the ugliest bit so far, just graffiti industrial areas. It's already been 20 minutes since we departed and we've only just gotten to this spur. That's crazy. I thought it'd be way faster. Well, not spur, but like branch. Branch off and then connecting back on. 
Okay, so let's see if these stations have actually been upgraded over the closure period. I don't know how much they did, but they were probably just improving the gaps and stuff because they're so bad as you saw in Wellington. We are now arriving at Sylvia Park. Exit here for the Sylvia Park Shopping Center. Oh, right. Remember to tag off with your AT Hop card or keep your ticket until you leave the station. Oh yeah, there is a shopping center here. Why is there just random reminders at random stations about tagging off in Wellington? It says it at every single station. Oh, lots of people here from the shopping center. Um, yeah, so... Actually, I just realized it doesn't say the New Zealand announcements anymore and just said it at the start. Now it's all English again, just like in Wellington. So it does look like the platform has resurfaced there, but can't see much more. The next station is Panmure. Change here for bus services to Pakurana, Botany, Howard, Ellsley and Newmarket. For safety, emergency and general information, please see the posters displayed at the end of each carriage or online at at.govt.nz. Your AT hop card or ticket may be checked at any time. But well, now there's New Zealand and I'm fine. Yeah, but clearly here we have male announcer as the main English announcer, while in Wellington we had female. They can see the next station already, this one's another major one. So this is just a random footbridge, but there's actually lifts at it. It's so weird. Oh, they haven't fixed the gap here. Another major station though, you can see very big. We've got buses again. Three more stops and then we'll be at the city after that. Which I haven't even been into the city yet, so this is literally my first time in my life entering Auckland City. The next station is Glen Innes. No one on the train can say that, probably. <laughs> Glen Innes, not Iris. Like in Perth and Bunbury. of containers, containers here, still in really industrial areas. Mm. 
no, oh, there's another train passing. Now it's back to being a three car, which I did see before. It's a three car for this service, then six six, which we've seen, and now that's already the three departing an hour and 20 minutes after our train from that station at the terminus. No, sorry. We are now arriving at Leninus. Remember to tag off with your AT hop card or keep your ticket until you leave the station. Just an hour, not an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. So the smart card is actually called AT hop card, which obviously means Auckland Transport. Like hop movement card before I was calling it at hop <laughs> I mean I guess you can say that too it, here it's so cool because the car markers stopping are actually on the platform so you can see them another island station basic hut but still functional Double decker here as well in Auckland. The next station is Meadowbank. Your AT hop card or ticket may be checked at any time. Okay, now it's starting to look a little nicer with all the greenery. Tunnel. And I think this tunnel marks the transition from the ugly industrial areas into the more beautiful areas near the city. Here we go. Nice and green here now, and we should be seeing the estuaries quite soon. At least we got proper speed now, unlike at the start. So much bushland, and that's actually the bike path down there, also very nice. Look at that well-established bike path on the bridge, crossing the line now. Okay, this is a bit of an ugly one again. Just the hot platform, I mean, hot station, curved platform making for the gap. Literally the same company name as in Adelaide. Here it's AT Metro, Auckland Transport. In Adelaide, obviously, just Adelaide Metro. And it's not even a metro, but okay. Just basically metropolitan area transport. Alright, one more stop and then it's the city already. This really doesn't feel like that, but it is. The next station is 
Uh-huh, here is the water now. All the estuaries. Um, it's really weird that there's no central station, it's just called Auckland. Wellington is obviously got its terminus called Wellington. Here there just isn't, nothing's called Auckland, it's just Brito Mart. Which is just that section of the CBD there. And that's like calling, like, Perth Underground's Murray Street Mall or something. We are now arriving at Orake. Oh, we're already here. The gap between the train and the platform at the station. It's still saying mind the gap everywhere. I don't know how many of these upgrades actually were. But yeah, this is actually the last station before the city, which is crazy. Like, imagine how, think about how big, like, Leaderville and City West and, uh, I don't know, Canning Bridge, if you don't want to count Elizabeth T, all are, and MacIver. They're all big and got lots of buildings around. Here it's already so suburban. Water right there, and this is the last station. Yep, I cannot see the CBD yet though. You know, the sky tower here in Auckland is actually 328 meters tall, which is almost a, o over a hundred meters taller than the tallest building in Perth, which is actually crazy. So we're gonna see that right now. The next station is Britomart, the last stop for the service. Okay, that's what it says here. The last stop for this service, not where this service terminates. Water on both sides now. It's not as pretty as I thought it'll be here, but it's still quite nice. Literally just tracks in the middle of the water, basically. I think we're gonna be a little late. It's gonna take 40 minutes for this journey, which is actually so much longer than I thought. I thought this was much shorter. It's like longer than all the lines in Perth almost, except Mandra line, obviously. Well, airport line is like 41 minutes as well. Same with General Up, but if you count from Claremont. Anyway. Another neutral section. Now the other the like other two lines, western and southern, do really sharp like 180 degree turn to get out of Britomart and go down their lines, but for this one we just come pretty much straight in, so it's not that complicated. Such a weird place to run the train though, right between the water. There's the port. Auckland port. Oh, another train, then another seat, now it's a three car, now it's completely empty, and there's a city, I can actually see it now. Where's the sky tower? Nothing looks that big yet. I mean, it is quite big, but... It just looks like the Perth level here. We'll get a closer look in a second. Now there's obviously lots of construction going on here around the city with the new underground city rail link coming in soon to connect the city better with new underground CBD stations not open yet so I obviously can't go on that but that's going to be quite a needed connection and then Britomar is not actually going to be a full terminus anymore there will be lines continuing through which that's unfortunate but obviously it's quite inefficient 
sorry, the recording stopped for a moment, sorry. But yeah, so all three lines terminate here in the city. Um, but the the extra line, which, because we're connecting back into the southern line now, which we spared off from before as well, is the western line, but the Orahanga line, which is the extra little line, doesn't operate in the city and just terminates at Newmarket, which is served by both the southern and western lines. Which is that's where the Western Line has to do the turnaround to continue its journey, so it's a pretty easy transfer into the city. Okay, now here is where we dip down, about to go underground, just this tiny section into the terminus station. Wait, we already connect into the other lines, I think so, maybe not, because we're stopping here. Don't worry, it's just such a slow entry. Yeah, sorry that the recording stopped. I accidentally hit stop recording and didn't realize for like 30 seconds. Well, we're stopping here right under this office building. Imagine the view you get from there right down onto the train line. Now uh, here we are waiting for this train to exit probably. This is a western line service, I think. Swanson, yeah. Western line six car, I'm pretty sure that was. Now we can go in. So yeah, we've already connected to the other lines. This took over 40 minutes, which is pretty ridiculous. It's not fast at all. It's not even that far, but it's so slow. So if you want to get a speedier access to the city, it's probably better most of the time to switch off from this line as soon as you exit the terminus and get into the southern line, probably. It's not by much, and only if it's a good connection, but... Yeah, anyway, now you can't see anything because it's actually an underground tunnel section and the underground station. I'm gonna switch to non-stabilized camera in a moment so we can, so we don't get the blurriness. Completely dark, under the city. Platform 2 we're going on to, I saw on the signal. I don't even know how many there is, but I don't think there's that many. So this station was actually fully designed to be used by diesel trains. One of the few in the world underground stations fully designed for diesel train usage because it wasn't electrified until recently, although... We are now arriving at Britomart, the last stop for the service. Please make sure you take all your belongings with you. Have your ticket ready for inspection or tag off with your AT hop car. For upcoming events and closures on the rail network that may affect your travel, please visit at.govt.nz. Quite a long terminating announcement, but yeah, although um, they're all now electric, so diesel trains, even though it's built for them, have been banned from here. And all the regional services just terminate outside at a different station called The Strand, I think, or something like that, specifically made for those trains, which is just like East Perth Terminal in Perth, just right outside of the city. Yeah, here we are. Oh yeah, all the signs still say Britomar. I don't know why Wikipedia says it like it was fully officially renamed. It wasn't even then. So that's cool. It's a bit misleading. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, five or six platforms. Actually no. Just four actually. Oh that's not even much. Or what? No. Welcome aboard this Eastern Line what? service to Monaco by Glen Innes and Pan <laughs> He already switched the announcement before we even stop to go back the other way. He's just going back where he came from again. No other line. Anyway, let's get off. We're gonna go down the stairs. Here we are at Brito Mart Station, the central terminus for trains. He's going back to Manaco. There's a southern line service just over there as well. Okay, so there's five platforms, one of them is not even numbered for some reason, so we were on two. There's three and four here, which is a train coming in on four right now. I think that's probably the western line service. And the tracks continue beyond here, as they've already prepared it for the city rail link extension. Obviously just terminating here. 
Yes, this is the Western Line. I think they actually have designated platforms. Four is for Western Line, two is for Eastern Line, one is for Southern Line, and that's it. Three is just a spare. Arrived. And they all seem to be 20 minutes frequency right now in the Why is it so loud when it stops? But yeah, it's quite a grand terminus. Definitely better than Perth. <laughs> Perth underground at least. And up there is the exit. We're gonna explore the CBD a little bit in this video. Right, the announcements, let's head out. So with the Ferris here, with the card, you can travel for up to four hours around and there's 14 zones and you get charged based on that. And as long as you tag back on at least 30 minutes after you last tagged off. So, but it's all integrated, unlike in Wellington, bus, train and ferry. So I'm just gonna make sure to either get on a bus or the next train 30 minutes from now so I don't pay the fare again. It's 12 noon exactly. I'm just gonna go a little one for a little wonder around the CBD. It's my first time entering here, and I don't know how much it's gonna charge me. Probably quite a bit though. It's an adult card, and we traveled all the way from the terminus. Although I think it's capped at twenty dollars a day, which is how much I loaded, so it should be fine. Got a weird scanner, just a hole. Jeez, five dollars. Five dollars ripped off the card already for that journey because it's an adult fare. That's literally like more than the full two zone, two to nine zone fare in Perth. That's okay though. Starbucks shouldn't charge me again if I tag on later. Plus, plus it, um, it's got the cap. Anyway, you can see in here the only lines coming here are southern, western, and eastern. There's no northern line, which is, that's just buses. So quite a grand station hub in there, as you can see. That's all you see, so you think those are the only lines and it lists where the airport connection is. And then here you are, you exit and you're literally in the CBD. So it's a very good terminus. Back to stabilization mode. Hidden here though, there's literally no signage. What? There's like no signage that this is the train station. It's just this weird building and you have to walk in there. And then you're out in one of the central plazas of the city. Beautiful. Now this CBD is definitely a lot grander than Wellington is. There's actually big buildings here. Plus the surrounding suburbs are very expansive too. There's over 1.6 million people here. It's the biggest city in New Zealand, although it's not the capital, while well, Wellington is the capital. Pretty much like Canberra and Melbourne in Australia. Um, oh, here there's a sign. <laughs> That's all you have. Just a literal sign in the plaza stating both the names brackets um, and then it's like where is it <laughs> you can't even see all right I have no idea about the buses here I, I actually had some idea in Wellington I looked up some of the routes and tried to ride quite a few and I got quite a good understanding it's not that complicated but here I haven't looked at anything so I don't really care just like in Adelaide I didn't really know anything I, and I don't even know which bus types operate in Wellington I've pretty much had it all figured out in three days since there wasn't really that much. Hopefully though we can do another proper video on a double-decker bus because in Wellington I only rode on them on the first evening. I thought I'd do more but I didn't. And I just filmed at night and didn't really do a proper video. And here, this is the central street. I literally have no idea where I'm walking but I'm just looking around the city. It's my first time ever stepping here in my life. Um, 20... 4th of January 2024 now this seems to be a bit of a bus only street and pedestrian mall which is very good that's how Perth's William Street should be at least as you know there are cars but just a few it's quite a minor road but major pedestrian area and yeah the buildings are pretty much as big as Perth so it, it is a good CBD if not better than Perth, I may say. There's a lot more greenery. And it just looks better. 
even the Wellington CBD looks better than Perth's. Perth's is actually pretty bad looking. It's all just very like concrete. Not really much around, except like Central Park, obviously. Like from the outside, it looks good, the skyline. But when you're in the CBD, it's not that great. Anyway, I don't know what else to show you. We're just, I'm just walking around the CBD. I'll film if I see anything else significant or any cool buses. But for now, I'm just going to explore myself. Thank you for watching. That was the first train line video here of the Eastern Line. We only have three more lines to do. And the Southern one is closed on the last major section anyway. So it's not even that long. So I'll get the trains done probably all today. Bye.